Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Kyosho. Well, I'm back guys with another battery review, uh, this time with Thunder Power. Um, I have the newest Thunder Power batteries here. Uh, these are the 2700 G8 Pro 470C. Okay, and over here we have the 2250 G8 Pro Force, the newest one, 70C, and I'm also going to try one of the 45Cs out to see how that uh, one I like. Um, I've tested these. I've tested the uh, G8 one, the 2250, the 70C on that. Um, massive burst of power, guys, out of these things. Uh, always remember before you go any further, make sure you break your batteries in properly, guys. At least. Uh, a minimum of three hovering and just kind of general flying and don't don't drain your batteries down uh, make sure you get yourself a cell checker and uh, keep them in the 3.90 range you don't really want to go too much lower than that they usually start about 4.20 per cell and going into the uh, 3.90 is, is plenty uh, and also read your manuals that come with these batteries, guys, and maintain them properly and everything. Uh, but anyways, I've tried a lot of batteries, guys, all right, over the years. Uh, I've used E-Flight batteries. I've used Traxxas batteries. I've used Orion batteries, Echo Power batteries, Pulse I tried recently, uh, Losi batteries, Protec batteries, Timea batteries, uh, Electron batteries and Hyperion batteries. I've tried many different batteries for different applications over the years and uh, I've never had a problem with Thunder Power batteries guys. I uh, moved away from them for a little while because uh, I thought I wanted to try a new brand but I'm back with these. I've had these. What really did it for me for these batteries guys this is a 2250 uh, battery that I bought two of these. I actually had, I think, four of them. I gave two away with a T-Rex 450 I sold. But these batteries, guys, I've had since 2009, okay? Five years I've been using these batteries. I don't think there's another company out there that people can say that with, all right? And that's what really drew me back. I mean, when I was started originally using these guys, I wasn't even sure how to charge a battery properly or balance a battery properly. I didn't have a cell checker and I was flying helicopters with these and draining them down and until my buddy said, hey, you got to, you know, work with these batteries properly. These are, uh, you know, new lipos and everything and the technology I didn't really uh, know a whole heck of a lot back when I uh, started using LiPo batteries. I'm from the NIMH uh, generation, NICADs and, and so forth. But just as an example, these batteries weren't taken care of properly, guys. And these things still go up to 4.20 per cell. They balance perfectly, they charge perfectly, and they still work. And I don't even know how many hundreds, I mean, there's got to be close to 200 or better flights on these batteries. So if you mean, so, so take that as an example, guys. If you're using these batteries properly from the day you buy them, like I do now, obviously, and charging them, you know, I use the, uh, I'll show you this quick. This is the Thunder Power uh, charger that I use, the one with the AC uh, adapter, the cord there. They have a couple of different models you can get for, you know, some of the bigger, bigger batteries and stuff like that. but. Uh, anyways, I mean, it says something about the company. The other thing that I like is what's printed here on the label. It says, assembled in the USA of U.S. components, which is important to me, too. Uh, but, you know, if you take care of these batteries, guys, from day one, and you get yourself a cell checker, uh, and you balance these things with a good quality charger, and you use them properly, they're going to give you many years of use. Uh, I was using these up till now. These were the uh, G6 Pro Power 2700 milliamp 65C bursts. And I went up to uh, the 70, the newest one here, the 70C. And these things give one heck of a burst. 
was flying this helicopter with these and those over the weekend and there was a noticeable difference, the burst of power when you needed it. And I'll do a three, four minute flight with this thing, a high powered idle up mode guys, 3D. And I'll take these back and they're still in the 3.90 range. So they're phenomenal, these batteries, they really are. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sticking with Thunder Power now. I'm tired of uh, spending my money, guys. It gets too expensive jumping from company to company, uh, you know, trying to see if this one's better than that one. And, and you know, then you start listening to too many people. <clears throat> the thing I can tell you guys is these are proven performance. I've been using these since 2009, again, five years, okay? And these batteries still take a charge, work, and balance perfectly, all right? So that just says something. I mean, I've, I've seen too many people at the fields with these uh, generic batteries burn up uh, their helicopters. This helicopter right here, guys, over $1,000. This one's over $500, closer to six. The Goblin back here is about a $1,500 build. I've got some 5,000 milliamp batteries on order for that. And, uh, you know, that's a big thing, guys. When you put these expensive birds in the air, there's enough of mechanical and, and other things that can go wrong, as we all know. And uh, why risk burning one of these up with some uh, cheap batteries in there or some unknown brand? So... Uh, Another thing that I like companies to send is these, the sticker sheets. A lot of companies send them. Uh, some of the servo companies, high-tech, uh, different companies uh, will send these. Uh, Spectrum likes to send them, but these are great, guys. I mean, I love sticker sheets. It may sound silly, but I did a video on this, and I got hundreds and hundreds of views. Uh, you take a common box. This is a Stanley uh, toolbox from... Uh, Home Depot and you make it look like a field box for helicopters you know you put all these stickers on there and it looks like you're going to fly a helicopter not hang a door so companies you know to uh, give these out is really a cool thing uh, you can put them on the helicopters and the booms and the canopies and uh, all over your field boxes and everything and really it helps you know the company too if you're dealing with a good company and you want to show their their brand off and let people know you know that's another nice uh, selling point too but i'm excited to go back with thunder power guys uh, i've tested these batteries and they're they're tried and true i mean i can't I can't, you know, sell them uh, for the company to you. I can't uh, force you to buy them, guys. Uh, I can only give these reviews on these things. Uh, people have accused me of working for this company, or uh, I did a, 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 a car cover for my Corvette, and somebody said, this guy must own the company. And I'm like, if I own the company, I wouldn't be sitting in my cellar here, you know. <laughs> I'd be sitting in some mansion somewhere probably, but... Anyways, they are good batteries. I'm, I'm telling you from experience, guys. I, I mean, that's what really dawned on me when I looked at the date on these batteries and saw 2009 and then, you know, figured five years I'm going on using those. Uh, I've never had one puff up. I've never had one burn up on me. And I've never had one where I with like other batteries where I charged them and you get one cell that's 4.20 and one that's 4.10 and one that's, uh, you know, and you have to go back and you have to put it on a lower amperage to try to fix it. I went through that with the Echo Power batteries and it was a real pain to try to balance the cells and get them right. Uh, with this, these batteries, I've never had to deal with that. So, uh, in my opinion, and I may sound like a pitch man, guys, and don't accuse me of owning Thunder Power because I don't. <laughs> but in my opinion, from all the batteries I listed off that I've told you about and, and over the years, I've come to the conclusion that Thunder Power are the best batteries in the world. Okay, And you got to remember one thing about all these pros, guys, which I'm not. When they're promoting all these things to you guys, they're getting paid. Okay? And they're working for these companies. When Alan Zabo is flying a line helicopters, I mean, he's not doing it for free, showing how good these things can handle. And Burt Camomere with Goblin now, and uh, 
you know, I have a T-Rex box up on the wall there that has Lucas Rivera, Bert Camomir, and Alan Zabo, and the only one that's still with that company is Alan Zabo, so, you know. Uh, anyways, uh, these are great batteries. I can't say enough of good things about them, guys. I really can't. If you get yourself one, if you don't, you know, want to sink a lot of money to try one out, get yourself, you know, like a 2250 for the uh, 450 Pros. They also make small ones now for the 130X and even for the smaller E-Flight helicopters. So check them out, guys. I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. And I really think uh, I've made mistakes in the past with a lot of different things, guys, jumping around, spending a lot of money, wasting a lot of money, and finding disappointment. And uh, I've put out over 320, I think 5, 26 videos to try to help people not make the same mistakes I did in the past. Sometimes, guys, you think you're saving money by buying something cheaper, uh, and then in the long run, it, it you know costs you a lot more money. Uh, when I started flying helicopters, I tried a lot of those clone ones and disastrous. You know, they're not like these T-Rexes. They may look the same, but they're not. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of companies out there. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of people that get their mind twisted by including myself at some points in my career of doing this from listening to pros and, uh, you know, and then you realize that they're being paid to, to push this stuff on to you. So, uh, once again, always read the warnings, the instruction manuals, balance these things properly with either a Thunder Power Charger or one of your choice. Uh, maintain them, break them in properly with at least three flights. Don't go down past the 3.90 per volt range on these things. Take care of them and you'll have Thunder Power batteries for five years or better. This is going on six now. So, uh, Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. And uh, give them a shot and I don't think you'll be disappointed.